Being 30 in the 80s? Being 30 in 2024? Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, you may be onto something there. You know, I do wonder. I think Timothy could play him. I think, I think he could. I think he could play Jason Alexander if he, you know, you know, did the bald thing, maybe gained a few pounds. I think he could totally do it. That guy is a chameleon. Just because you fit in doesn't mean you're in the right place. I guess. I mean, I've never felt like I'm in the right place. Ever. I'm not kidding. <laughs> But there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. Much like a plate in a grate, I have no idea what I am going to do until the day I'm dead. No clue. Buying YouTube Premium without ads? Reopening the video until the ads go away? Is there like a set number or does that just happen at random? This is a nuclear weapon. Vladimir, this is the 133rd week in a row you've shown a nuclear weapon in class. Other countries puts important people and monuments on their coins. Meanwhile, India. Okay, if that's real, because I haven't seen coins from India before, that's awesome. That's just cool, okay? And I think everybody should be doing that, all right? I love it. Beautiful, no notes. When me and my wife get our 23andMe results, so we're just a couple of white people? I mean, I I feel like nine times out of ten, that is the answer, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I got mine. I, I took mine years ago. I really, really wish I hadn't done that, though. And guess what? Yeah, I'm just white. <laughs> Nothing interesting or unique or cool going on in there. I'm like 44% straight up. They just said British. And then like 20% Norwegian? I don't know. It's very stupid. Again, I wish I hadn't done it. Don't do it, by the way. Please don't. Just don't. Just don't. It's not worth it. An American will say they know a spot and then take you here. Good lord, how old is this picture? There's a blockbuster video. Th that old Taco Bell sign. The old Wendy's sign. How the hell is it that the Burger King sign is like the one that still looks identical to today? And I am including the McDonald's sign there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. I feel like every single city in America, every single one has at least one road that is nothing but concrete and fast food joints, with the occasional car dealership scattered in between them. And it is just about the worst place you could ever fathom being in your life. And a lot of us just had to grow up down the street from this yeah, go play outside. Where? In the traffic? What would you like me to do, really? Bananas at the supermarket? Bananas 15 minutes after I get home? Now, I do have to ask, is that actually an un- like, a non-photoshopped image of her on the right? Is that actually just straight up, no one did anything to be Funkalicious? I'm not trying to, like, advocate for this woman, because I, I know who she is, I know what she's about. However, is that a real photo? Because, wow! <laughs> if it is, holy crap, what happened? What did you do? What in the world did you do? All of your teammates in your favorite FPS that never do they were my alt accounts, Barry. <laughs> I don't get it, but I'm sure this is hilarious. I'm sure this is a true top meme, if you will. When my boss, their boss, and HR calls me into a meeting, it was three on one, but they were mentally challenged people against one person of extraordinary genius. It wasn't even close. <laughs> Never is with you, Donny boy. <laughs> A new brain rot word hasn't come out in a while. Good job, everyone. Uh, what are brain rot words? Are they just words that you don't get because you're old and you don't want to Google it really quick or... No, seriously, I don't know what a brain rot word is. Is this what, I don't know, young millennials, slightly older Gen Z are calling just new lingo? What is it? What does it mean? Explain! <laughs> Dudes who leave comments on pictures of hot women that are clearly fake profiles would 100% Fall for Bugs Bunny and drag. Okay, yeah, I, I, you're right. However, I think most of us would, okay? I'm pretty sure most of us would, all right? Have you seen Bugs? Bugs can pull that off every time, okay? That skill is just mwah. I don't know how he does it. Bugs is insane. Tall boys are best. Forget about that tall boys concept. This girl is cheating on those three dudes. This school doesn't allow Halloween costumes, but they never even noticed. Well, that doesn't look like they're wearing... I mean, I know who they are. <laughs> I know who they are. And, uh, what kind of a school doesn't allow Halloween costumes? What the sh Man, that's lame. But you know what? These guys took it in stride, and they killed it. That's fantastic. Me using my towel twice and eating less meat, stopping climate change. I got gotcha, you, brother. Billionaires flying into space to take a walk. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yeah, it's great. It's all our fault. It's all our fault. Not at all the guys that have literal infinite money that get to do whatever they want and take private jet flights to get to the fridge in their mega mansion. And they're not even remotely an issue at all, even though they have the money to be completely carbon neutral. Completely. Can't wait for this to come in fashion. I'm sick of pressing my clothes. Oh, my God. I just got a bunch of new white T-shirts. And yeah, I don't want to iron my stupid t-shirts, but I have to. Otherwise, I look like this forever. And we all know, we all know you look stupid walking around with wrinkles that strong, okay? There's just a look to it, all right? When I will grow up, I will help poor people. I will commit tax fraud. See, you got to be careful. You got to do it in small, small increments. That way, there's no way they'd possibly notice, all right? <laughs> right off here, right off there, you know? Just don't make them $10 million each and you'll probably be fine. This is how we turned on our computers in the 2000s. Is it? I mean, I think I did once accidentally, but it wasn't because I poked the case or the power button on the case. I think I just accidentally hit the power brick or the uh, the power strip. That's the term I was looking for. Thank you, no one. <laughs> I think I accidentally just shut that thing off instead. <laughs> Uh, stop turning things on and off with your feet. Unless they're consenting people. And then you're good. Whatever, who cares? Dan TDM seeing the internet defend him from KSI and Logan Paul. They love me. I mean, I don't know anybody that's ever really hated him or really found an actual reason to hate him. Seems like one of those guys that had his fun, did his thing, and is just living life now for the most part. I do think it's absolutely hilarious. He made a tweet, and these dudes have lost their goddamn minds for days now. Dan hasn't said a damn thing. To my knowledge, he has not responded again in any way. And he probably won't, because he's not those guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny. Mr. Beast speedrunning his villain arc. After all these years, plagiarized Lunchables, a collab with Logan Paul and KSI, a beef with Dan TDM. Finally, I have them all. God, I can't do that impression anymore. It's gone. I lost it. The whole internet defending Dan. Oh my God. How many of these are there going to be? KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is a top meme. Is that like an ironic name or something like that? POV. You actually wore deodorant to the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament? Oh, you idiot. Why would you do that? What's the point? Now you're the odd man out, all right? Everyone can smell you smelling normal. I mean, sure, you're gonna be smelling everybody smelling not normal. You... <sighs> Why would you do it, man? How smart I feel while watching YouTube science channels. Kurzgesagt, that is how you say it, right? In a nutshell. Veritasium, an element of truth. What's wrong with them? Space time with Dr. Matt O'Dowd. Literally never heard of that one at all. At all, man. My parents, when I ask resources to pursue my dreams. My parents on a sh engineering course, which cost their entire life savings. What? 0.5, 50%, 1 half. Look at what they need to mimic a fraction. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, simmer down, folks. <laughs> it's all in good fun. Don't get upset like I'm about to. We look so much like a couple here. <laughs> a couple of besties. This is so old, but it makes me upset every time I could feel, I could feel the hand of God reaching through my rib cage and just popping my heart with a little squeeze every single time I see it. Why, yes, we do make sure our children stay seated and quiet at a restaurant and not run around screaming. How could you tell? Um, I'm assuming that the, the pictures are supposed to be how I tell, but generally speaking, uh, the fact that the children are seated quiet and not running around the restaurant screaming would have been how I could tell. When you go to the strip club and your grandma's face is hanging out a stripper's ass. You know, was it Greg Davies? Greg Davies sang a song about his grandma and had the money joke. Not this one. I mean, that whole song was brilliant and hilarious. This is just, yeah. Yeah, I think we've all made that observation before. Hell, these guys probably made the joke first. Woke up to pain in my teeth and tongue because I thought my AirPod was gum in my sleep. You got some strong ass teeth and you chewed several times before you realized. Damn, I mean, yeah, in your sleep. But dude, if I bite down into something sharp and hard like that, even if I'm asleep, I'm waking up instantly. But no, you got a couple of good chews or chomps in there before you woke up. That's pretty insane. You will never find another guy like me. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they all have somewhat distinct personalities. It's just they all have very bland sense of fashion, I will say. Not that I'm better. I rarely actually get all gussied up to go do stuff, but 
I, I don't know. I just wear black t-shirts and jeans. That's all I ever really do unless I'm feeling particularly kooky. And when I do feel particularly kooky, I post a picture on Twitter about it and people think I'm insane. Because I am. But hey, look, at least the guy in the center is going with a silly pattern, right? I mean, we got stripes over there, but horizontal stripes? Well, I guess that beats vertical. Vertical stripes would actually have made me start crying. Everyone talks about second Trump assassination attempt. Meanwhile, the checks. Hello, I'm under the water. I feel like at any given moment that could be true for just about anybody on the planet now. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great, everyone? Isn't that just super cool? We know who to thank. When you've passed eight stages in the interview process and almost set to get the job, impressive. Very nice. Now let's see your social media comments from 12 years ago. Yeah, I'm sorry. If... I made it this far into any stupid interview process, like eight stages, whatever. By this point, I would definitely have made every single one of my accounts private. I don't know if that will really help, which I'm, I swear to God, if that doesn't help, then I don't want to work for that company because what the f*** you doing to get in there? I'm not kidding. Seriously, set that crap to private. Maybe even change the at. Don't associate it with you for a little while, and then when you get in there, boom! You're allowed to go back to actually being uh, a person, I guess. Study. Eating ice cream for breakfast may improve mental performance. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that the times I had ice cream for breakfast were not during the times my life was going well. Right. So you ate the ice cream so that your brain would start up properly and you'd get more mental performance and you'd get your sh back on track. Okay? We good? We, we get that one settled for ya? Italians finally accepting the fact that some people like pineapple on their pizza. Polish people, pasta with strawberries. Can you do like a, a sweet dessert pasta? Like, I, I feel like that just wouldn't work very well. And I'm, I'm not talking about just pasta with strawberries. Now I'm, for some strange reason, my mind is completely jumping the shark here and going straight to like, I made a dessert macaroni. You know, I don't, I don't know what you put in there, but I do wonder, I do wonder. I'm sorry, you know what? How about this? You guys come and tweet at me with all of your Italian dessert pasta ideas. It has to be like spaghetti related or ooh, you know what? Make me a dessert ravioli of some kind. You know what? Let's let's re-piss off Italy. <laughs> Japan's greatest tragedy is having the world's best toilets and no Mexican food. What's the point of owning a Ferrari if you never take it to the track? I don't know, man. Seems a little weird that you would be all too happy to wreck your asshole night after night. Well, okay, you didn't say night after night. But like, I don't know. It feels a little silly to me to do something that's gonna blast your ass just so that you can use a Japanese toilet. Toilet. You can use it anyway, man. You don't have to have a diarrhea day in order to appreciate that you're sitting on a real throne. Now do you? Judge, I'm dropping all of your charges. Thanks. I won't do it again, my lawyer. Well, was it a guilty plea? <laughs> did you say you did it first? I mean, I don't really know the rules here because I've never done anything bad before. So maybe you could enlighten me. Or don't. Or don't. That's also fine too. PC owners. Oh no, the GPU is already at 70 degrees! Laptop owners when they switch to medium settings. Back in the day, for sure. I mean, nowadays they're not necessarily on fire, but they do get nice and loud. So loud. Girls listing all the things they need in a partner. Men, vagina, optional. See, if that's actually, I don't care about the optional part, but if, uh, hey, men, any of y'all out there, if for whatever reason your only requirement is genitals, uh, no wonder you get all pissy and weird and strange two years down the line and want to leave. Because you didn't actually have any wants for yourself. She's got wants for herself, like a normal person, okay? But unlike you, man, she thought beyond the d all right, she thought about herself. You gotta think about yourself too, but not just w with your p I listen to music while playing driving sim games. I listen to music while playing RPG games. I listen to music while playing FPS games. Never give up, dude. Damn, look at you though. That's a hell of a lot of progress you've made. You, you fine as hell though, dude, that's insane. Your next task is making an actually new franchise instead of milking the same one for 40 plus years. Really? Really gonna on Nintendo for that? For, for that, not for anything else Nintendo has done in the past. That's your beef, is that they've become the the most valuable brand in gaming because they do what they do pretty much perfectly and have since they started almost 
Huh? I'm very, very confused. Is this a critique on Mario? Zelda? Are you actually critiquing all of, like, some of the greatest video games of all time? Kid me, thinking my parents will stay in good shape forever. Sweetie, buddy, can you help me get up and walk me to the couch? Don't worry. They're doing all right. They're doing all right. It's just, you get old. That's okay. Getting old is okay. Don't worry. Oprah reveals how she manages to stay stress-free at 67. Step one, have a billion dollars. <laughs> Hell, have two. Why not? Yeah, that would certainly f help, okay? I do wonder how this article would be if Oprah had like, I don't know, 5K in the checking account maximum, less in her savings, despite the show. Like, despite the show, if she had like a checking and savings account that looked more like the average person, and I, I was generous with that number. The average person probably has like 150 like cents in theirs, okay? So I'm being generous here, all right? Me Googling a phone number instead of answering it, does that help at all? I just, I just don't answer, man. I, I wait to see, like, we're back in the 80s and 90s, I wait to see what the voicemail has to say, all right? It works, trust me, that's a pretty good screening method, all right? Uh, yeah, I don't get it. That is weird, though. When you finally get a roll in po but you're the husband leaving for work. Hey, man, I'll take the paycheck. I don't have to stick around for the next 12 hours trying to get my PP to stay up the entire time because it is an acting job first, sex second. Ah, hell, sex probably third, fourth, fifth, and sixth or whatever at that point, man. You got off scot-free, practically. You got paid like, what, 100, 150 bucks to go, like, buy, honey, <laughs> and then leave. Well, oh, those two are there for the next, like, entire f day. And by the end, they're not really having a great time, man. My barber called me pronoun boy and made me pay extra for my cut. So I checked the website. Men's haircut extensive. 40 bucks. Non-binary haircut? 70. What does that mean? My barber called me pronoun boy? <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. Excuse me? Rich women on their way to greet the police after their husband has been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, not the, is that a vulture buzzard? I don't know, but they do wear that outfit. You, you know that for sure. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what this meme is talking about. You agree. Come on. How could you not? How do ugly guys get such fine women? The more she laughs, the more time she spends with her eyes closed. It's science. <laughs> Cuddling in the morning, initiating sexy time. Your wife needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Women, when they see men bragging about basic adult shit, like paying their own bills, working out, living on their own, being a college graduate, not being addicted, not being a felon, or having a working car, how women see themselves when they brag about basic adult shit, like paying their own bills, working out, living on their own, being a college graduate, not being addicted, not being a felon, or having a working car. The police sketch artist realizing I've been describing his wife nude. <laughs> all right, all right, screw you. <laughs> Snakes definitely look a lot less scary if you make them a hat. Oh, well, that's just the cutest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Average racist motherfucker when it's racism against their own. God, this image is so much larger than the others. It just freaking jump scared me. Ugh. Actors talking in a different language. Viewers curious about what they're saying. Subtitles. Speaking foreign language. I have only seen that once. I'm pretty sure it was in an old Godzilla movie, with just an offhand comment someone made in the background, but it was still amazing. Me, miracles are not real. Miracle. Ana de Armas says new movie with Sydney Sweeney has threesome relationship. <laughs> If, if this stupid goddamn, like, headline or quote or whatever is even remotely real, they're totally getting you, right? It's not gonna involve those two at all. It's gonna be, like, three completely separate characters. Or, it's gonna be like this one-off thing where they walk past a room and you can hear three people and that's it. That's how they're gonna get you, and it, you deserve it. <laughs> this is why the toys are important! Now, oh, she probably played with those just fine and knew her shapes, but... Just didn't want to admit it, man. Although it looks like, I don't know, are they buying that from some, what does that say on the wall there? You know what, it doesn't matter, that's funny. Just strap it to the roof and pray. Did you know, Margot Robbie didn't wear underwear in this scene to make the scene more realistic. Leonardo after failing the 100th take. I don't believe that for one mick microsecond, but all right. Justin Bieber 2020 looks like he's trying to convince Justin Bieber 2009 to get into his van. Vegans, we're so healthy. Also them when they get a direct hit from a nuclear blast. Waitress, how do you like your steak? Man, same way I like my sex. So very rare then. I, I, I almost made a significantly worse joke. 
medieval woman. Hey, I found out that if you eat this plant, the stomach pain is gone. Everyone in the village. <laughs> Uh, only helpful if it came from a man. <laughs> Let's burn the lady. Me on my way to ask my wife what's wrong with her. <laughs> okay. I revere wildlife art style. I shoot wildlife art style. Me looking at the 27th meme about some yee yee ass YouTube beef I do not give a flying f about. But you made a meme about it to complain. I mean, th you have to care at least a tiny bit at that point, right? On a side note, I really hope that this man eventually feels better because good lord. Hey, you know what, Affleck, Ben, can I call you Ben? If for whatever reason you watch, uh, MK, I don't know why you would, I'd love to meet you. You know, let's hang out, let's, you know what, let's go get lunch, I'm buying, you know, we'll geek out over cameras, because you seem like a cool guy otherwise. <laughs> I say that and someone's gonna point out that Ben's like a serial killer or something. I'm sure I could feel it. Changes the business name to show who's in charge. Nobody uses the new name and still calls it Twitter. Yeah, that, that brand recognition is so strong. It's not even us just being stubborn. I mean, we are being stubborn because X is the dumbest name I've ever heard in my life. I probably would have thought that was cool if I was in the third or fourth grade, for sure. I would have thought that was the tightest of all time. But it's such a beautifully strong bit of brand recognition that we're never going to forget that. We're never going to let that go. I really, really, really hope that what ends up happening is this dip divests, disappears, sells it off for 12 bucks, runs away with his tail between his legs in hilarious fashion. Someone else comes out, buys it back up, diverts it, or not diverts it, reverts it back to Twitter, brings the bird back, brings everything back to how it was, and we collectively forget that this douchebag was ever involved.